We got our official nonprofit status when I was 16, but I started the whole idea behind Feed to Succeed when I was 14. The whole idea behind Feed to Succeed Fund is to raise money to feed malnourished students in the Philippines. And this cause that we believe in is very important to us because we're not just feeding these kids. In addition to giving them meals every day, we're also making sure they get regular medical and dental checkups so that instead of focusing on where they're getting their next meal from, they can focus on getting to high school, getting to college, putting them through those next levels so that they can achieve their dreams. How old are you? My family is originally from the Philippines, so I'm first generation. And my parents love going back and visiting their hometown together. And so my family went a couple years ago and we were spending time with my aunt, who is very involved with community service over there. So when we were shadowing her for the day, she took us to a variety of events, but the one that really stood out to me is a feeding and nutrition program that happened at Busing Elementary School. I remember speaking to one girl specifically because she's the same age as my sister, except she was four years behind in literacy half her weight, half her height, and seeing that direct comparison between my little sister and this other girl who lives across the world but lives this entirely different life than my sisters and I really sparked a light inside of me. So when we came back and we started this club, we really weren't thinking on the big nonprofit scale. We were just thinking about, oh, how can we help this little girl and what can we do as her peer, basically, to improve her life. Last year we funded five schools and we just launched two new feeding programs this summer. Um, so now we have seven schools adopted, which we're very excited about. So we actually have 94% of our students are no longer malnourished. And we also started a high school scholarship fund. So we have six students that graduated from our elementary school feeding program. And we're also funding their high school scholarship um, tuition and we give them money for their books, their uniforms, so seeing them through their next level of education is something that we feel really passionate about. I mean you do this out of the goodness of your heart, you're just volunteering um, knowing that whatever you're doing is benefiting other people. I think when you care enough about something you can always find the time to, de to dedicate to it. My experiences as an athlete is all about bringing people together, especially in volleyball. It's all about teamwork and getting people behind the same vision and cause is the same idea behind Feed to Succeed. So I think getting people to rally behind something that you care about and knowing that you're part of something even bigger than yourself is something that I can carry over into both aspects of my life.